Y in the morning. You can find us at White 5 on Facebook, Y254 channel on Twitter. Hashtag is Y in the morning or WCW. And I keep repeating the handles of our pages because we have things going on and really, really like to hear your thoughts. But in studio with us is one Sylvia Wamboy. She is basically a superhero. She'll refuse, but she's just basically a superhero. And we're going to hear a little bit about her and her story. Are you ready? I don't think you're ready. I was not ready. I was briefed, but I was not ready. But anyway, good morning, Sylvia. Morning. How are you? I'm very well, thanks. Would you like to say hello to your people first? Hi, everyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you for having me here. If we wanted to reach out to you, because you'll want to reach out to her once we're done, but if we wanted to do so, how can we find you? Well, you can find me on Facebook, under Sylvia Wamboy, or Twitter, Sylvia Wamboy. Mm -hmm. Yes, and Starwe Wellness on Facebook. What is Starwe Wellness? Starwe Wellness is, um, is a counseling center mm -hmm. that my friend and I, Njoki, have founded. Mm -hmm. where we just deal with um, counseling, individual counseling, couple counseling, premarital. We discuss on loss and grief and anything just mm -hmm. about an individual and a family. Is counseling why you seem so polite and sweet? Ama, you've just always been like this all your life. Because me na kanga na kona kirere at first glance. Mm -hmm. You look so calm and such a nice person to be around. Wow, thank you for Is the it the counseling? No, it's you've not the counseling. You've always been like this? I've not always been a counselor. I've uh -huh. actually been in counseling the last two years mm -hmm. yeah basically I'm a, I'm a mom i've been a mom and a business person mm -hmm. yeah maybe it's my personality maybe yeah you look like such a smiley like if we were friends in high school <laughs> like we just smiley because my cat smiles on uh -huh. hey. yeah <laughs> anyway <laughs> so entrepreneurship to listen much not here michelle ashir on tuesday yeah but so what we want to know maybe is how you started the wellness center maybe why and was it a personal experience that got you into counseling in the first place yes it's a personal experience um eight years ago almost eight years ago um we were blessed with our second born Jaden, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and um three weeks after birth normal birth um, we had to do a heart surgery and we had been told it's gonna be a simple surgery you know closed heart surgery and we'll have our baby back home and unfortunately after the surgery two days later Jaden passed on I'm sorry and um, I had never thought of losing a baby it sounds crazy even when I say it I never knew people can lose a baby mm -hmm. I knew death happens to other people when they've lived, lived. when they've lived, lived not a baby you know it was like almost obvious get pregnant go give birth and, and go home with your baby and live life but Jaden passed on mm -hmm. after three weeks and it, that that was the beginning of my loss and grief journey you know and it's like you put a calibre here you know bereaved mom mm. and therefore I went through my loss I had a two-year-old mm -hmm. at the time my daughter was two years old and we all grieved differently it was just a journey you're grieving Jaden but everybody is doing it differently and therefore just crawling through the dark I went for counseling a bit and that's where I think my interest got just to help other people who are struggling in the same journey because loss is a journey hakuna destination time heals all wounds it's a scam time doesn't heal mm -hmm. all wounds but you get to learn how to cope because i remember when i lost my baby i was so desperate to see somebody who was two years ahead of me i was looking for a lady who has gone through it kunipea hope you know and Amazingly, my mom got ladies and she didn't know about their stories. But these women came, they were like my mom's age, and they were saying, I lost a baby 11 years ago, you know, um, 20, you know, a few years ago. And I was like, okay, there is hope. You know, there is loss, but there is hope because these women have gone ahead to get other babies, or maybe not, but one may survive. No, no. So that, that's what gave me hope, yeah. I imagine it, it must be very difficult to suffer a loss mm -hmm. internally. Yeah. You have a whole family that, you know, mtu wa kufa siya ti dunia na smama kwanza ti to, you know, just, mm. oh, totally, yeah. no, no, everything is still going on. People are still going to get hungry. Someone is still going to call you mommy. Yeah. Someone is still going to call you wife, you know, yes. so you still have to function. Mm. And then maybe, let's say, kuna watu tu eat down, when you kuongea na break, manze, watakombi, ah, weba dona leo stories, utaza tu tena, kwa ni umezeka, why are you crying? Three weeks, 
I ato uliko mmem kweli vitu kama hizo. Yeah. How, how did you handle external I want to call it bashing but yeah. also unajua maybe someone's ignorance in a kato anaongea ana kuongelesha. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, compassion does not grow on trees. I've come to learn that. Sometimes mm. compassion you have to go through some things yourself mm. and then they oh okay this is what you're supposed to do this is how you're supposed to deal with it. And if you don't know what to do just don't do anything. Silence is very nice also guys. But tell me how did wow. you cope with that? Wow, you're talking like you've talk you're talking from experience. My friend, <laughs> these streets have taught me things. Hey, hey uh -huh. wow, you've spoken like, uh, you know, very deeply because <laughs> it's true. Until you go through something, you don't notice. I normally have this analogy ukiona if you're told about a certain type of a car, mm -hmm. you know, then you start seeing that car. We only get sensitive mm -hmm. when you've gone through something, you know. Mm -hmm. So like um, when people are telling you, and they did tell me and my husband, by the way, you guys are young. You know, you'll get twins, mm -hmm. you know. And at that time in a kuhat, because, excuse me, I have just lost a baby. Don't start telling me mm. about how God will give me another baby. This one, it doesn't matter how many babies I get after that. But later on, after I did counseling, I realized what were our kuhat deliberately? They just don't know. They just don't know. Mm. You know, they just really don't know. And even when to skia kama, okay, we've buried the baby and what do, people have moved on with their lives. How kumbuki, oh, Sylvia has lost a baby, let's comfort her. It's not intentional because life moves on. So see at what we kulenga. It's just how life is. Mm -hmm. But we really need to be sensitive. But we can only be sensitive when we've gone through it. Because wauna kumbuka vileizo words in Likwambia. I always remember there's a cousin of mine who lost um, the dad. I had not gone through personal loss. Na sapo kwa grave, unajua vile tunasemaga, it is well. Mm -hmm. And she shouted back at me. Mm. You know, it is not well. Mm. And I was of, I, I think I was just saying it is well. Just unajua kum, kum mm. comfort. But later on after nifanya counseling, kasama, by the way, it's not right to tell somebody it is well. It is not well. I have lost a baby. I've lost a father. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. Ataka kasanduku kadogo ata sitaki kuimaji vya kana ka but yeah, okay. Hey, maze, mm -hmm. your thought ni mm, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. walikuwa kimuita angel. Oh. Your angel, but oh. yeah, it's traumatizing. I hear people say the loss of a parent and loss of a child are one of the deepest losses. Hakuna kitu ingine yani you can you can lose. You know, it's so painful. Mm -hmm. But yet it's a great learning. During our during the funeral of our baby the pastor at that time preached, and the only thing I remember, but they were to record at Kufanya is of it to But I'll quack Sema Sylvia, oh, Sylvia and Yohabi, there are treasures in the dark. You will get them. Hmm. Saizo Unashanga, what are you saying? I've just lost my baby. My daughter has lost her brother. You know, hmm. but do you know, but eight years down the line, here I am, and I have, we've been able to talk to other people. See, the story is not the same. Ata ka umepoteza mtoi, it's not the same. Don't ever assume my loss, because I lost a baby and you lost a baby, it should be the same. Mm -hmm. No, it can't be. But just giving hope na kutembea, pamoja. Kusema, hey, be careful, what will grieve differently? You know, mm -hmm. see, atu kujua ibo. Min kwa nikifikiria, so we've lost a common baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've lost our baby, let's cry for our baby. But you see, our personalities are different. Min kwa nataka kulia sa zote. You know, my hubby is more extrovert. Anataka kuenda penye kuna watu. Me, I wanted to be alone and cry for my baby. But my husband wants to be around people. Mm -hmm. Sasa yu na leta dome. Because mm -hmm. we unonekana, you've moved on. You're, you didn't miss our baby as much. Mm -hmm. But that's not true. Maybe that's his way of dealing. Mbona haulika mimi. Ama ya nashanga, unalia sa zote kwa nini. So you see, it brings conflict. So... Through our experience, to kiskia another couple, ama mtu mungine amepoteza somebody, tunambia, by the way, please, warning number one, respect how each, each of you grieve. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is just something I've watched in the movies. 
and <laughs> and nanimeona once a couple has a loss like that it yeah. either brings them together yeah. or unasikia tu divorce na hiyo story imeisha tu kabisa hivyo how did you two like learn did you go for counseling together did you go for it separately ndo mkakuja wao kumbe na ni kumbe anafikiria gave na me and you know it doesn't matter how long i'd like to imagine it doesn't matter how long you've been married but yeah. loss is loss you know yeah. and you experience you experiencing it together for the first time yeah. and also another relationship ngataka kuongelea ni ya mungu cuz me ask me when you me pay mungu maso the questions so you said you're good you said you're good mm -hmm. all the time mm -hmm. is this all the time I'm mm. on a break. Are you on COVID-19 leave? Like things like that. I had so yeah. many questions before yeah. I came back to my senses and yeah. know, okay. It is what it is, mm -hmm. but I had questions. So how did you deal with the two? Okay. So I, I vividly remember tulikuwa na dome with my husband. Your part here. Mbona mimi nalialia na we, You know, you look like you're not crying. Yeah. I remember nilikuwa pale karibu na KNH. I was driving. Na nikakumbuka nikasema by the way God we are Christians by the way God uli create my husband uli create my daughter and you created me na ulijua hii loss it happen we are all different i'm not a superwoman siezi jimanage na siezi manage our watu wenye ulinipatia you know because i'm hurting na nikajiambia by the way i will go for counseling i wanted my husband even to up to today it's a fantasy you know at the old tutaenda kavlo unasema kwa movies mm -hmm. tutaenda kwa mmoja kwa counselor mm. never happened <laughs> <laughs> but i always remember my husband telling me mm -hmm. ukienda counseling tutakuwa poa <laughs> kwa sababu ni mimi mm. who seemed to be very wounded mm -hmm. yeah so i went for counseling but for me mm -hmm. i didn't force him to go and for sure i was a better person because i surrendered to the fact that our oh, tuote god and our jua yes we are family but i can't heal your pain you know i can only walk with you so when i realized yes he saved my daughter who was like two she had just met her brother and loved her brother so much how do i even take it down to her level mm. that way sasa you've lost baby boy you know how do i take to my husband that you've lost a son your first son you understand kwanza ni muafrika eh? na sasa si ni muafrika na huyu ni mtoto wenu wa pili oh. and you know you mm. have i remember when we were in hospital when the baby was born we had uh, my dad in law my husband and the boy three generations mm. walipigwa picha hivyo unaona oh. so you can see the dreams and everybody is going through loss so for me i went for counseling i went for support groups is our mama when you are they've lost because i went to facebook looked for support groups because we are different again go back to our personalities my husband had his own way of dealing with it he could walk one on one with somebody and also now alikuwa anataka kwenda kwenda with um our couples group has men eh? so they would hang out together check out on him evil you know so he had at least a group that was checking out on him mm -hmm. yeah so i hope you're in ajibo swali alafu swali ya god mm -hmm. loss comes closely with our spirituality we all get disappointed me i have blogged about it mm -hmm. i think fresh niliandika tu kwa blog unanifunza nini mungu ni nini hisi ku elewa ndio you just so uchukue tu mtoi wangu are you trying to get my attention are you trying to teach me trust ni nini yani aunge tumia a different route unaona but we all struggle with god na vile mimi utaka kuambia watu please ask those questions usijifanye ati oh tuko strong na god me i was of god i have been born again for so long i will hold on to you like a fool but I'm hurt. Iro la Costa, you're the constant. You know, that that was that's what I will, I went out to Keswick. Nilingia mat. I always remember the world is moving. Unajua Nairobi vile watu move very fast. I have just we buried the baby I think on a Tuesday or something. Nilienda kama Thursday hivi. I went to buy a Bible. You know just to ndio niangalie huyu god anasema nini cuz hii kitu ni uchungu ni uchungu sana you know You're so, so me i keep telling people mm. be upset at god he can handle it mm -hmm. but don't go away from god for me mm -hmm. that is one of the things enyeli tushikilia but see at it tulikuwa smooth at all lovey davy it was 
it was rocky, you mm -hmm. know, because we are both hurting people. We've never lost a child. To kopia na mtoi muingine, to kona family members, ku balance. No, na, your friends are saying the wrong things. Ama mwenye ulko kifkiria atakuwa hapo, anakudizon. You know, you, th there are so many things that happen when loss happens. Mm -hmm. It's not just the loss. Your friend who you thought tutatembe pamoja, missing. Mm -hmm. You know, but the people who you didn't think would be with you, ndiyo wanasima wa nshanga, ay, Sylvia nafanya nini hapa zaizi? Na vile atu kwa close. Na uyo ndiyo God anatumia kukusaidia. Yeah, so, so many things happen. I told you, sweet. Me, so vitu nikuwa nambia mungu, angeza tu, ambia tu, jiji, I would hide, guys. Wee, pia ume kuja sana. Sasa hizo nini pia ume fire. Get out of here. You quilly. Ah, anyway, so, I wanted to bring out her experience so that you understand. She knows what she's talking about. Because, again, grief, it's very strange. I love grief. Say, ati ni Evie, ati Lion, ama kaka, heartbeat Evie. Ati Naoma, Naoma, ikiende kipunguka. There are days, ata months, umeza, hey, Yo, ah, siku moja tu gongo, sema haya. By the way, nani ya liendaga tu hivyo. Eh, then for like a few hours, you're in feelings. And of course, kuwa demu, naingia tu hivyo studio, uwe ananyesha. Sawa basi, ananyesha, okay, it's alright. Let's just move on swiftly, hashtag is why in the morning. Hai Zuru, hai Zuru. So, yesterday, and I'm only repeating this topic because kuna mtu alikuja, akatua testimony-ish on Twitter. And okay. it, it slapped a bit different when I heard it from someone. So we're talking about suicide rates in the country mm. and how they're gradually increasing. Sindo. And then, sana sana, napata ni wanome wa age bracket, flani kaya kampo, kampo evi, mm. young men, you know. Mm. Their prime of stamina. Sisi leo kwa nanguvu kwa zote, unajua line yukuwa stamina ndo wapa resources ni kidogo. Tukiendele endelea kukua, sasa resources nongezeka, stamina ina decree. Ina decree. Sana wu unataka kujitoa hapa, ataka bla. Why? Anyway, so we asked a couple of questions and we got... I want to say several responses. Kuna inyo alisema wu ni wastana, tuna wa stress. I don't know if that's true, but I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Kuna ingina asema ti juma na ume amambia jishikilia na ata afaiku. In fact, boy child say at two years old knows he's not supposed to cry. Ever. Ata simbele ya watu, ever too. So what kind of pressure are we putting them on, you know? And then someone later came on on our Twitter page, and if you don't believe me, go check it out at White54 channel on Twitter. He said, you know what, Val? It just the other way, just last week, I was thinking about ending my life. Just last week. Yeah. Nico, we! Yani, we talked to you just direct, direct, direct. Kumbe, you were also thinking about the same thing. Said, yeah, I wanted to take my life last week, but uh, it's just because of my friends. They encouraged me and told me. I was like, yeah, but I'm going through hell inside. So you are going to profile picture smart. I'm a smile. Mm? <laughs> Just when you you check, you also send your profile picture. But meanwhile, someone is dying on the inside. Yeah. How do we deal with that? Wow, it's true. It's really true that um, young men and men uh, are going through a lot. Nivle tu our culture in Moambia, don't cry, man up, you know. But at the end of the day, our two ni human. You know, mm. we're gonna the same pressures or even more. So for me, society, as a mom to a boy, now we are blessed with a boy. He's six years old. Aww. And by the way, Leah, you know sometimes he's too emotional. I say no, cry. Get, let it out. And when you, you've had it, nisawa. Mm -hmm. You know, because these boys grew up in our homes. And we are the same ones who told them, don't cry, be a man, be strong, stop being a weakling. Mm. I love who now your child takes their life away. Because they were not allowed to express themselves. As, as I said, I'm born again. Our God is a God of expression. Ata ukiangalia clouds, they are gray, you know, they are, the sky is blue. There are many, like Vilona Sema, life iko, heavy. Mm. And Unfortunately, social media na kwambia, you put a smile and you're hurting. The thing is, we need to face our devils. You know, kusema by the way, say, siko poa. What you do about it, that's your problem. Because for how long will we fake it? When do you do na hurt? You know, let's reach out for help. You know, jua? because yes, me, I might say, ah, we'll go strong. That guy, I come to you, you're the strong one. The next time you're the one who's taken your life away. Because you're not open and vulnerable. 
kwa sababu what do you gain by the way mm. kukuonyesha na uko macho na ndani unaumia what does it take why don't you take the risk to say by the way guys i'm not okay being not okay today doesn't mean you're breaking apart it just means you need some help or you need somebody to walk with you mm -hmm. so sin yo to me i think si we we need to take personal responsibility let's blame culture let me bring up the boys but also the boys need to realize by the way i'm human how does it work out for me how can i express e pain hata kasi kulia kama nimefunzwa i can journal i can draw i can reach out to another man an older guy you know or somebody and say by the way na struggle lapa apa i'm even feeling life is hopeless because that is on your covid things are very hard mm -hmm. you know and it's on, not just for young people it's for everybody because my identity you know many jamas they identify with work vile goda mwa create is about work so kuliza mtu what do you do i i am a producer in mm. eh? i'm a manager eh? mm -hmm. you know sasa hii kitolewa it's like your world is over you know I, who is sylvia beyond being a counselor who is sylvia beyond being a mother and a wife we need to get greater purpose so that e kitu kitolewa biashara does that make me less me but many of us tumepata identity hmm. kuwa tuna associate na kitu that's why facebook ni kuapo na mtu but maybe they are abusing me hmm. tunapigana home lakini facebook we are the super couple that's so heartbreaking aki sasa so, so, very... tu utaki kukaa na mtu hey, sasa unapigwa tu juu kwa mtu how you value si ndio hmm. then now you commit suicide we go like hiya so we so silvias eh, with her hubby hapo vile wame pose vile wako poa and then sasa you know yeah so we need to be real with ourselves usingoje ati mtu mwingine akama kutole ati oh you're struggling just say by the way i'm human i'm work in progress i have struggles you know even for the young men yeah watu watasumbua hapa ziad na senya akitingiza kiuno ati ati hata hizi pika ugali nani alikwambia hizi pika ugali why are you disturbing shore is shining amidst covid 19 just self evaluate are you okay are you all right boo what's going on did you wake up okay yeah. i love pia i also think that e concept ya social media i'm really glad you brought it up we yeah. do things for the gram manzi hakuna yeah. siku utaona mtu ameka picha akilia ama kifungiwa nyumba mm. but cloud ah <laughs> cloud nayo hiyo siku napata face beat for the gods manzi mm. how many selfies will i bless you with my friend how yeah. many mm? but that doesn't mean that i am always okay i keep telling people just because i'm on tv just because my job requires me to have some some level of discipline yani itabidi tu nimechangamka whether i want to or not mm -hmm. i must smile and i must mean it okay mm -hmm. that's what my job description says about me but that doesn't mean i'm always okay yeah. just because all right and and ukiniangalia mimi sasa mimi ndio sai unit lakini vala na kuaga na life wow I go to TV she's mm -hmm. always happy no yeah. then you think that oh my god i'm the only one going through these things oh my god mm. what's going to eh. yeah. bro kila mtu kona mashida zake huko town everyone whether they're dressed nice nice whether they're not dressed nice however una pima mtu kila mtu kona mashida za thank you mm -hmm. mm. now back to the wellness center how who are you really reaching out to what is your age bracket is it young parents is it a bit more experienced parents is because also you you've told me about pre marital counseling mm -hmm. tell me what's can i ask what's your favorite age bracket ni group gani na kupata ile nimesaidia wa by the way val ukuja huku leo i was very excited yeah yeah because uh -huh. i really like young people mm -hmm. you know why mm -hmm. because see tukiwa young hatukuwa na watu wa kutu guide you know so mm -hmm. to linger relationships for the sake of kuingia mm -hmm. you know so i really love young people because young people are teachable and they are just starting mm -hmm. their lives and they are the future so tunapenda young people kuambia why we are saying premarital and even university apo mm -hmm. kwa sababu hiyo age ni ya kuingia into relationships you're moving away from your parents and you're starting to identify with your peers na kuingia intimate relationships and guess what most mm -hmm. of the issues that come to counseling are relational mm -hmm. 
you are having an issue with how you you value yourself or how your hubby or your 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 wife anakuangalia ama watoto but if you yourself you're not okay you lent a relationship broken what are the results that will talk her from there mm. Nimekuja na mashida zangu, wewe pia umekuja na zako, sasa zina mix tu hapo ndani shwa. Exactly. Mm. You know, and when I got married, nilikuwa nikifikiria happiness. Oh ho! Honeymoon phase. <laughs> All the way. Oh my god. You know? Mm -hmm. No no eh? I'll wake up every morning and you're smiling and you're perfect. Mm -hmm. You know, make my make me happy. You know, but I am human and I have my struggles. And as long I need to work on my struggles. You know. So we love Njoki and I we love young people because that is the place cool is a val val unenge your relationship okay who is val away from that man val ni nani who are you what do you like what don't you like what are your values val unaleta nini kwa hiyo relationship una benefit nini kwa hiyo relationship many people don't stop you just think oh that guy looks cute handsome or that kachik Eh? Hmm. She is beautiful. Amebeba. But atabeba all her life. Aha, woo. Itakaye boli mama muko sawa mali. Hi, good morning. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> you know, things change. So <laughs> if I get married to you or get into a relationship with you just because of how you look, things change, my dear. Ask my husband. We've been married for 12 years. Eh? Kale ka flat tummy ama ka waistline ka. Eh? Three babies later. Eh? Is so up. we are trying mm -hmm. but really things change mm -hmm. na nimekuja na 28 tuseme i've got married at 28 years nimekuja na 28 years of experience vile things used to be done in our home vile i've been brought up na ya meleta zake tumeleta hapa but we are creating our new family mm -hmm. but we are not aware si tunafikiria let me give you an example mm -hmm. a funny one vile me i was taught how to cook skuma mm -hmm. si tulikuwa tukisteam <laughs> What are you comparing? So, to quote Kisteam, so we are newly married and my husband comes home. Nimepika ugali na skuma. Anafungua skuma hivi anashanga. What is this? Na mimi I'm going like I've cooked. Is there any other way? So kumbe kuna kufry nini like that. But you see, mimi nimekam tu vile nili funzwa. But my husband kuna vile ame funzwa. So in new family to create aj hmm. so i took it very nini i was very offended bono you're discriminating why are you looking down upon my food so no na size on idome oh na kucheka tu because hata unajua kuitkuwa daughter of mombi aki sometimes see fair in life unaweza kuwa na have conversation vizuri na mtu venye mnaenda kupika ah as from nowhere na tuongezi soup sasa nani amesema tuongezi soup just because i come from this part of the why it's okay i feel you upon the next thing so what i'm just saying is sisi at star we wellness we we see the entire family we see individuals we see couples we see we love children and adolescents you know loss and grief everybody but basically we also like young people mm -hmm. because when you start it right there is future for your relationships you know you start it out and then you pass on the values to your children god willing mkipata watoi mnataka kuwa build children are not they just don't grow like weeds kuna vile wana grow ka weeds but kama unataka mtu impoa you have to be intentional umeanza ku the show by saying mm -hmm. i'm a super mom i'm not a super mom we are intentional mm -hmm. intentional in amanisha mm -hmm. una sacrifice mm -hmm. my my peers wako far career wise mm -hmm. you know but i had to take a back seat nikaanza biashara ndio i can go with my kids to my place of work Oh. so that i can bond with my kids mm -hmm. so that i can you know size mm. ndio naanza ku pick up on my mm. career because our daughter is 10 the boy is 6 unaona uko na toko baby mama to kai yani una kando unaenda kuanza nimeanza ku disclose eight bila sini wazee lakini ni poa no all i'm saying is your experience and the way you look at like yeah. this you look yeah. so young yeah. Yeah. it's in the jeans my mom okay yes. good black though don't crack yeah okay i know we can go on for days yeah. the conversation in end yeah. but i'd like to finish up with the fact that there have been a lot of teenage pregnancies mm. that we know of yes. so, you know, they, so do you want to 
Strong account aje ka tumbo mevura, but ni meskia pia on the ground. We had someone from Kibra. Um, he, he calls himself Mr. Pads. Mr. Pads ali kam akatumbe. Yeah, he has this initiative where he goes around and and his dream is to have a place where venye tu condom sayo nezaenda mali in dispense. So he also has a dream for pads and and all that. I know. Nice. But yo stigma too. Wata kushikilia tu kitu. Ukujetuka uja smile unambu unanyesha, but in Misawa, Haizuru, that's not what we're talking about. <coughs> we're talking about teenage pregnancies. Yes. And COVID-19 has told us to stay at home. COVID-19 has told us to close all our schools. Yes. So now we are trying to learn from home, but also we're very imbalanced. We're a third world country, and I want to say only the elite few can benefit from online learning. Because that is of smartphones or devices, a lot of us don't have, you yeah. know. And Sijuizo laptop tulipiromisiwa jilienda wapi, but let's not also talk about that. So how do we, first of all, how do we talk to our teenage girls? My cousin just turned 13 actually. So how do we talk to our teenage girls? And how do we talk to the ones who have already now gotten pregnant? Because they say, oh, you've ruined your life. Okay, miss you, Nika, ume ruined life, but ume pata tu ball. And that's a big deal. But how do we talk to them after that? Okay. Um, I'll answer that, but um, for these teen pregnancies to happen, mm -hmm. it takes two to tango. Mm -hmm. So to me highlight sana kuzu teen pregnancies, and it's okay, Ziko, mm -hmm. but who is impregnating these girls? Thank you. Yes, we are not talking about that. Mm -hmm. Please note Val, COVID and before COVID, pregnancies, incest is happening in our homes. Incest, abuse, mm -hmm. a relative, a cousin, a who, and it can be either way, people are abusing your brother or your sister, your child is being abused in your home by your spouse, by your aunt, your brother, by your cousin, by your relatives. Yeah? Mm. People who abuse these young girls or young boys are never strangers. Rarely. Mm. You know, mm. like that. So as we are addressing teen pregnancy, please let's ask, where is the boy? Mm -hmm. So Bampiangu in Onekana, where is the other guy? Yeah, yeah. And you know, where is the other? Mm. Because what we need to be saying is, we need to teach our young people. The boys, can you be responsible? You impregnate a girl, you take responsibility. You see the girls are the ones carrying the burden because they are the ones who you can see. Kuna evidence. Mom. But this boy who is sleeping around. Oh, she's giving you a normal one. You see, so we need to hold both parties responsible. Yes? Mm -hmm. So yes, COVID has happened. Yes, children are home. But, you know, we transfer our problems. Shule see solution. Parents need to be intentional. Let's talk to our children about pregnancy. And sex, sex is beautiful in the context of marriage, not before. Mm -hmm. But who is going to do this? You know, just to delegate shule. That's why they are being taught things that are strange. And if we don't tell our children about sex, they are learning it through isoma, simu, mm -hmm. pornography. Ngoma, squeezy. Well. Yes, everything. Mm -hmm. But so we need to talk to our children. Come and see, to meongia with our daughter and our son at their age. You can get pregnant, you can make a girl pregnant. You know, start talking about it in the home. Empower them from the home. Usi seme ati COVID ati watu yu wako home. Take responsibility of your child. And what are you teaching them? Kublakini kwa sababu wa society, sex is a taboo. Why is it a taboo? It is created and it's beautiful, but within the right context. Mm -hmm. These girls who are pregnant, I know so many women who got children when they were teens and they, they've picked themselves up we all make mistakes yes you can get pregnant but even us sometimes maybe there's something I've done maybe my weakness in pornography but it's not visible for everybody so you're the one who is condemned more but we are still struggling you can pick yourself up you know you know then just pick yourself up. Where did I mess up? What did I do? How did I get there? Because many times, hatuji pendi. Mtu wakienda kuwa pregnant, anatafta love. Anafikiria, by the way, Akinu kweli. nipende tu. Oh. You see, alafu unapata mtu iwa first. 
unapata wa pili with a different person but what are you lacking hapo ndani unatafuta nini love yeah but who can love you if you don't love yourself is true yeah mm. yeah so it's not we cannot condemn you are not condemned we all struggle with something it's just that you as pengine ama umepatikana hii time pengine mimi nilitumia contraceptive yeah mm. but i'm engaging mm -hmm. in sex but i was not caught sasa hapo caught ni kujazwa wewe lakini wanaume i miss dream mungu tuta pray na side gani at least one month washike tu hiyo mimba ndo tukae tukijua huyu yeah but mm. the solution mm. solution ni let's empower our boys from when they are young yeah. about responsibility you going back to the monthly periods we went for a training with my hubby sometime now this couple wali sema they have two boys they said you know we teach our girls about periods you'll do this if you have courage sindio mm. lakini them they teach their boys about periods wanasema ukiona dem class ameji stain mm. eh msimcheke kama wale wengine remove your sweater Aww. and tie it because it's too to tango surely Aww. see you'll get married to a woman na atakuwa na hizi vitu utamsaidiaje so it's empowering both sides usiseme mzigo tu ni the girls ama ni boys too mm -hmm open their eyes and expose them to both worlds mm -hmm. and then they say dear each other i think mm. yeah and speak wisdom uko asante but you will agree at an amount not even one <laughs> hey. all right so what else did you want to talk guys we we've covered relationships we we've covered teen pregnancy we've covered grief and loss yani we've covered a lot of things my friend i told you you'd want to reach out to her may you please give us your social media handles maybe one more time or if you have a number that we can call the wellness mm. center mm. okay um you can find me at um silvia wamboy facebook or twitter um stawi wellness it's on facebook na naweza kupatia namba yangu ya simu ugopi ugopi acha tu nipatiane hiyo ni ya ofisi Okay, you in your office. Mm. <laughs> Please reach out mm -hmm. for help. Um 0722 Alright, so so when you will look at my kachiwa and awareness maybe we're going to the kitchen now just compose yourself get somewhere to write you have your digital type situation I'm going to buy ro kami me so that you can repeat the number we together. Oh. Right, one more time please. All right. So 0722 8403 Seven five. Please reach out for help. There are so many people who want to work with you. Mm. Yeah. Now, since you and Ani, your time is not finished. Why? Where, where are you going? Where, where and mm. why? Just stay, stay. Mm. Are we together? Yeah. Mm. To not spend a at cut to enjoy. So, all right. Your closing remarks, perhaps. Mm -hmm. My closing remarks is: It's never hopeless. There is hope. Just reach out for help. Mm -hmm. There's somebody waiting to work with you. Mm. Yeah. No matter how you look like, no matter where you It doesn't you matter from. how you look like. Mm -hmm. You're beautiful. Oh. Wonderfully unique. It doesn't matter. Just reach out. You're beautiful. Up on Dani, there's so much beauty within. Yeah. Ini ya wanaume pia. Ma wanaume mmekataa kuitwa beautiful. I don't know. Anyway, in conclusion, jipende nani na usende mali. So Sylvia Mboe, the powerhouse that she is. She's very intentional and I hope pia ametrub off me ametrub off some I, baby blessing you cause today hope pe mekufikia mali kwa twat five on facebook at twat five channel on twitter hashtag is white in the morning please again we're running all the way till 10am so don't you go anywhere